Hello, hello, and welcome to Ali Crochet. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this card holder. It's super cute and very light. And I am using a cotton yarn for this big twist. It's size medium. And the crochet hook that I'm using is tulip. And the size is number 6. But you can also use a 3 millimeter crochet hook. Pair of scissors and a stitch marker. Okay, let's start. Start your work with a slip knot. And chain up, up to 56. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 56. So here's our 56 chain. And this is a 13 inches long so now we're going to do into our back loop only make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook chain one and you're going to do a single crochet all the way across but using only the back loop of our chain so this is the front and this is the back loop as you can see the bump right there it's a single crochet you should have a total of 55 stitches i'll meet you there at the end and by the way, don't forget to put a stitch marker. Here we are in our last single crochet. Okay. Now chain one. Turn your work. And we're going to work a single crochet but using a back loop again. It's the same thing all the way across. Single crochet. But still, don't forget to put a marker every time you start your work. And I'll meet you here at the end. Here we are in our last two stitches. both loop in the end and then chain one turn your work slip stitch in both loops using both loops slip stitch into the beginning stitch put the marker so you won't forget where you started and again all the way across you are going to slip stitch both loops I'll meet you here at the end here we are in our last stitch again grab the yarn slip stitch now chain of up to four one two three and four insert your hook into the second chain grab the loop 
again insert grab the yarn pull up the loop you have three loops again grab the yarn pull up the loops again grab the yarn pull up and loops and lastly grab the yarn and pull up the loops so you should have six loops into your hook one two three four five six grab the yarn and pull through all the six loops then chain one so again and this is our first star stitch so again insert your hook in the star stitch hole grab up the loop then insert your hook behind that star stitch or double crochet there pull up the loop again insert into the last stitch for your previous star stitch insert your hook again into the next stitch grab up the loop and last insert grab up the loop you have six loops grab the yarn pull through six loops chain one one more time insert grab insert behind the star stitch grab insert in here grab up the loop insert into the next stitch grab up the loop insert into the next stitch and grab up the loop and you have six loop into your hook grab all together chain one so continue doing this and I'll meet you here at the end so here we are in our last work you should have a total of 27 star stitch now as you can see here it's it's not enough for our star stitch so you are going to do only a half double crochet chain two turn your work So now in every star stitch hole, as you can see right here, once you started with your chain 2, yarn over and put 2 half double crochet in each star hole. All the way across. And I'll meet you here at the end. And here now our last row, half double crochet again. Then chain one. So this is row one, two, three. Four, and now in roof row fifth we are going to repeat the row two which is single crochet into the back loop of our work this is our row 6 just like in our row 2nd or row 2 just single crochet into the back loop 
only all the way across and then in our row 7 repeat the row 3rd and in our row 8 repeat the row 4 and in our row 9 repeat the row um, 5th so here and this is as you can see the star stitch right there and so on and so forth until you reach a three rows of stars stitches and I'll meet you here on our third rows of star stitch so chain one turn your work single crochet into the back loop this is ju just a repeat of our row two single crochet all the way across but using a back loop only I'll meet you here at the end and here is our finished product look at how beautiful the star stitch are so all you have to do right now is the edging which is single crochet in every stitches that you can see but in this space as you can see here there is a loop as well you have to insert your hook and do a single crochet all the way across and then you have to slip stitch the edging So here slip stitch in every stitch you have to slip stitch both loops all the way across and then single crochet on the edge here again and slip stitch into the opposite side and I'll meet you here at the end and by the way guys you should have a total of 19 single crochet on bo both sides of your edging and once you've done with your slip stitch you're going back into your edging here and do the slip stitch again cut your yarn and make sure to have the allowance for the sewing on the side and fold and using your tapestry needle sew the both side of your project make sure to make it equal size Thank you for watching guys, this is Ali Crochet.